Hey everybody, waiting just a couple seconds for some people to jump on. I'm gonna fall over in my hammock. <laughs> I swear we keep trying to put this on level ground and every time I get in it, I landed on my butt the other day. Let's just put it that way. Today's live is super important. Hey Erin, hey Carrie. Today's live is super important. Um, we need to talk about Facebook Live and we need to talk about how you can increase your viewers on Facebook Live and my top five tips. Hey, hi Maria. Okay guys, let's get started. So the first tip is one that I already gave you a little sneak peek of in the description of the video is your privacy settings. How many of you have your privacy settings set to private because you're just scared of any Tom, Dick, and Harry who can get on your Facebook, scope out your kids, scope out your house, find out all your personal information, but yet you're in network marketing and direct sales. How many of you, raise your hands, go ahead, drop a hand emoji, how many of you have your privacy settings set to private? You guys, that is the number one mistake of Facebook in general, especially if you are in network marketing, direct sales, MLM, whatever, that is mistake number one. You should never, ever, 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 ever have your privacy settings set to private. Wendy, take it off of private, set it to public. The reason why we wanna set our Facebook, yes, Ashley, the reason why we want to set our Facebook pages is to public is because we want people to see it, right? We want to grow our networks. We want to make sure that people are seeing everything. There are certain ways to make your posts private, but you know what? Why? Be transparent. I understand that there are pictures of your kids and things on there that you don't want everybody to see. And in that case, go ahead and set those posts to private. But when you're doing a Facebook Live, you want to make sure that everybody who is watching it is sharing it. Okay, that's our number one goal. The number one goal of doing Facebook Live is A, getting your content out to your people, and B, you want it to be shared. You want your face all over Facebook. And I tell my team all the time, I'm like, you guys, I just want to see flood Facebook today. Like, I want to be able to jump on Facebook Live and I want to see everybody's faces. I don't want to go through my newsfeed and not see anybody on my team going live, okay? Oh, here we go. Well, honey. Goodness. All right, go back in the house. I'll be in in a minute. Okay? All right. So, you want your privacy settings only to be on the posts that you really want pr uh, private. Um, a lot of the, a lot of times, um, people will join network marketing and they're just not comfortable sharing their, their life with the world. And I understand that. Um, but you know what? I'm all for transparency. 100% I'm all for transparency. You know, people know my kids. People know my husband. People know my life through Facebook. And it's something that's just brought up in conversation. So when I go live, you know that this child is going to jump on my live sometimes. And you know who she is. See, Kanina is like, we love Sophia. I never have my things private. I want the world to see me. Um, if you are somebody who just constantly needs to, you know, keep your family stuff private, make a different Facebook. But if you're business stuff, you always want to be public. Um, you, you definitely don't want to, like, hold yourself back um, and be too secretive about things. And you want it shared. Okay, tip number two. The copy of your post. So we're talking about the copy, which is the description of your post for your life. This is like the most important thing that a lot of people overlook and it was something that I was doing until I um, started to really take note of, oh my goodness, these dogs. I'm sorry you guys, I just can't be live outside anymore. Um, but your descriptions, okay, you want it to be clear and concise. You want people to know exactly what this video is about. And if people are scrolling through their newsfeed and they're getting like, you know, a vague idea of what you're about to go on and talk about, nine times out of 10, they're just gonna skip right past it because they wanna know exactly what they're clicking on. People are taking, they're taking the time out of their day to sit here and watch you go live, okay? We wanna make sure that they know exactly what the information is going to be described in the video. Um, learn to sell the video. And I want you to think about it before you start, you know, going live and you actually hit that live button, I want you to think about how you're gonna sell yourself. How are you gonna sell whatever it is that you're talking about? And this is something that we need to really just be very um, cognitive about. 
we have to think before we post and it's just like you know before we speak we have to think before we speak and we have to make sure that the sentences are formed correctly just like you would if you were making a business post if you were selling a product um, we wouldn't just get on Facebook and say you know here's my product it's $5.99 you can buy it here here's my link we're not gonna do that we don't want to do that that's like the number one thing you don't want to do can you please not do that um, you want to create curiosity so just like how my video um, the description of this video was you know, how can we increase our lives? How can we do that? And I gave you a little bit of a teaser. Um, you want to create the, the curiosity. You want to give yourself the attention that your video deserves. Um, and also, sometimes when I do a video, I'll kind of go back and I'll edit the um, I'll edit the title because I get off track. And sometimes my videos, when I when I start a video, it can sometimes go in a different direction than what I originally intended it for. So sometimes I have to go back and add what what we actually talked about. Um, and I forget sometimes. So you'll see me on here and um, I'll be like, you guys, can you pop up what I typed in for my, my title? Like, what was my description? I forgot what I was about to talk about. Sophia, if you can't be in the house. Um, so sometimes I forget my topic and you definitely don't want to do that because then you kind of look like, okay, what, where's her focus and sometimes I'm not focused so you'll see me forget my topic every once in a while you also want to make sure that you are aiming the description of your video towards towards your target audience okay if I am on here speaking to my family I'm gonna post a I'm gonna do a video and it's my kids playing in the backyard okay other network marketers they're not gonna want to see that I'm gonna title um, my my live and it's going to talk about my family if I am targeting people in network marketing direct sales MLM I'm gonna hashtag it. I'm gonna let you guys know that this is a network marketing training video um, Be very clear and concise. Also Here's another great great tip ask a question in the description so just like my video that you're watching right now I titled it would you like to increase the amount of viewers for your Facebook lives who doesn't want to do that? Drop a heart below if you want to increase the viewers on your Facebook Lives. If that is the goal of why you're watching this video, drop a heart below. Um, secondly, you, you want to make sure that you are, you're going straight for what you want to talk about, okay? If you are posing a question to people, you want to make sure that you are answering that question and you're not going off topic, and you're not kind of just straying away from the actual topic of the video. You wanna make sure that you are giving the people exactly what they came for. When you don't do that, people are less likely to share your videos, okay? And the key here, again, is to share the videos. Everybody, type with me, okay? Share the videos. Get people to share your videos. That is our number one goal, is to get as many shares on your videos as possible. So when you pose a question, make sure that you answer the question. Make sure that you're being genuine. Make sure you're giving the people exactly what your title of your video is about. Tip number three, sneak peeks into your live. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people make um, is that they, they just give a topic, but they don't really give a little flavor to the topic. Okay. It's like, I could do a, um, I could do a live and just title it how to recruit people. Okay. But you kind of want to go a little bit further than that. You want to say how I recruit people in my network marketing business in the next 30 days or how I recruit people using attraction marketing, how I recruit people doing X, Y, and Z, whatever it is, however you are you know, putting this video out there, whatever technique you're using, make sure you add a little bit of flavor to it. Um, also, kind of like I did where I gave a little teaser was, okay, my top, uh, my, one of my number one tips is to, is privacy settings. Okay, I had put that on the actual description of the video and I talked about privacy settings so that you know when you open up this live, you're gonna get tips and it's not gonna be me talking about attraction marketing. I'm gonna give you bullet bullet points. I'm gonna say here's tip one, two, three, four, five. Like here we go, it's numbered. Um, space out your wording, make it simple, basic, tasteful. Um, you know, you can actually make, I have this girl 
on my Facebook page and every single time she posts a picture and I love her for this because it always, it always catches my attention. She's a leader in another company and when she posts her posts every single time she spaces it out but she kind of like makes it go diagonal and it's something that I notice every single time I open my Facebook because um, I always look at her posts because it's just spaced out differently and it, it's like eye catching so that's what you can do with your videos is you can kind of space things out make people click on the video make them scroll down to read it but don't go too overboard don't go um don't go posting a whole paragraph people don't want to open up a paragraph and read you know um and read three paragraphs they want to open it up and be boom 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 bullet point this is what we're talking about okay um End the post with encouraging engagement. So, a lot of times you'll see on my posts where I say, share my video if you feel like you, you got something from this. Share my video if you feel like you gained some knowledgeable content. Share my video if you know somebody out there who could, who could benefit from what I'm speaking about. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys to share my video. I'm gonna ask you to share this video because I know that there are people in your, in your network who need to see this, who need to hear how, uh, tips on how to grow their lives on Facebook. So please share my video, <laughs> like and comment, comment on this video if you found this helpful, comment yes if this is something you need to hear, sell people on why they should watch your video, okay, add captions to your video, you can add subtitles, I was watching a video this morning that was talking about these tips and um, the leader who was talking about it said when I add captions, um, like closed captions to my video, more people watch the video um, because a lot of times, and I'm so guilty of this, okay? Drop a one if you are guilty of what I'm about to say. Sometimes we open videos and we sit there and we stare at the video and we aren't even listening to it. We're just watching. Like, we're just watching, um, we're watching the video, but we don't even hear it. Like, drop a one if you do that. If you just, like, stare at people talking sometimes, because I do. I don't know why I do it, but I do. Like, I just watch. Um, <laughs> so you can actually add closed captions to your video so that people can see what you're saying and they don't have to have the volume on. And you'll get tons more viewers on your, um, on your videos. Tip number three, ask for participation. Again, like I just said, like, comment, shares, emojis. I'm having you guys drop a one if you agree with me. Drop a two if you like watching live videos and people are, and the person who is doing the live video is asking for your participation. Isn't it much more fun when I'm like feeling like I'm on fire that day and I'm like, you guys, drop a fire emoji. Drop a fire emoji if you're on fire with me right now. If I get like really pumped up or if I love something and I'm like, you guys, drop a heart emoji if you love this I love when I'm able to participate with my audience um, and I feel like it just kind of creates a bond between whoever is speaking and the viewer because I, I would be like if you guys weren't responding to me right now I would just feel lost I would kind of feel lost and I wouldn't have like that direction I would probably feel discouraged so when you ask for participation and people start participating you feel a lot better about what you're doing and you get a little more energetic and you get a little more amped up because you know, hey, somebody's watching and they're actually responding, like they're listening to me and they're they're understanding where I'm coming from and they like what I'm saying and they're throwing up hearts and it's fun, it's a party, woo woo. Okay, tip number four, don't be boring. Do not get on Facebook and be boring. Nobody wants to see a boring person. You wanna bring me a baby? I have my nephew over too, so we have two babies. I'll be in in a minute. We have two babies here. Um, don't be boring. Show your personality. Be somebody that you would want as a leader. Like, I, could, I just couldn't imagine getting on here and being mundane and boring. I'm getting a baby. You bringing me a baby? Bring me a baby. We got babies. We have babies everywhere. Look at this guy with his babies. <laughs> huh? We got babies here. All right, give me. Pick one. Alex. Uh, Hi, bud. Oh, Wesley doesn't get to make an appearance in your uh, video. <laughs> you guys want to see my nephew? It's my nephew. Oh, hubby's joining the video. Uh, we this hammock is gonna tip over. <laughs> um. All right, I'm almost well, hi, done. Hi, everybody. Hi. 
Guys, drop some hearts if you love babies. Who's that? You guys love my babies? We got babies over here. <laughs> okay, so back to what I was saying. Don't be boring. Show your personality. Be somebody. Huh? Yeah, no, I got him. He's fine. Be somebody that you would want to follow. So, you know, I, I just couldn't imagine having a leader who is just mundane and boring and doesn't have personality and isn't excited about what she's doing. Um, that would be a huge red flag for me. Um, I would want to follow somebody who, you know, they got it going on and they have something to offer and they're fun and they're exciting because if they're going to be training me, I need somebody who's over the top and I just can't, <laughs> I know Ashley, I just, I just can't, I just can't, um, I can't imagine just blah 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 being boring nobody's gonna share your videos if you're boring you have to have a little bit of spark in you um, okay last tip get real oh please don't do that please don't do that um, okay be real be raw be authentic don't be a copycat okay show people who you are show people your personality don't go and copy somebody who you think is amazing okay give the best version of yourself be authentic show transparency um, talk to people the way you would in real life there's nothing worse than watching a leader on Facebook or watching somebody who does Facebook lives who has this personality and then you go and meet them in person and they are like the most boring person you know they're nothing like they are in their video they're nothing that they say they are they're just putting on a show you guys be real be authentic people love authenticity it doesn't matter if you're good at public speaking it doesn't matter if you're good at going live if you are who you say you are and you're being real people will respect you for that drop a three if you feel me on that if you feel like being your true authentic self is the best way to be because there, there's just nothing like it and people want to know you people don't want to join somebody or um, get on your team and find out that you're kind of like a fake and a phony you never want to do that you always want to be true and you always want to be honest to who you are and what you're doing and what you're about um, that's probably the most important thing that I can tell you about going live and getting your viewers is to grow a relationship with your viewers and you know really just be yourself because people will join you before they join a company and that is the God honest truth um, all right guys I'm going to jump off of this and go take care of these babies if you gained some knowledgeable content from this video, please, 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 please give me a share. And oh my gosh, my daughter is in this little kitty pool right now. Totally enjoying it like she's a baby. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you gained some knowledgeable content, please give me a share. And um, don't be afraid to reach out and say hi to me. A lot of you were messaging me last week. And um, I really enjoy getting your messages and letting me know that you're gaining content from my videos. Um, that's super fun for me and I love it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.